What's going on? Happy Halloween, Patriots. Uh, Rusty back here again. I have finally got the operator box in. Sorry it's so late. Uh, been waiting on it for a while. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do the, the pistol and the AR-15 review. Um, like I said, I was very disappointed. Uh, I got a notification probably three weeks ago that they were sending me my boxes and just now got them today. Uh, so first, we'll do the pistol box. Um, this is what you're getting right here. It's a Kydex holster and it is made, they also sent stickers by Crow's Tactical Outfitters. Uh, there's two of those. It's the same one right there. All right, and then they gave a business card for the Crow's Tactical Holster Platform, and it's called a Universal Modular Holster Platform. Only Kydex holster that will allow you to use some holster with multiple weapon, weapon systems by simply changing out the patent pending blade system from one weapon to the other without purchasing another holster. Uh, so this is kind of meant to be a, you know, fit all your pistols kind of thing. But from my understanding, this is the part they're talking about that you have to change out. Uh, I do have two pistols here. I've got a, a Glock 19 and I've got a full size Smith & Wesson M&P 45. Uh, I've got a Glock 26, don't have it in here right now, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys. It does actually fit very well in the Glock 19. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, this is Kydex, uh, it draws out good, doesn't fall out though, not bad. Now with the Smith & Wesson M&P 45, it fits a lot snugger, uh, again though, it doesn't fall out, um, everything seems to kind of fit, you can see the barrel does hang out just a little bit, hang on let me turn that off. Like I was saying, the barrel does does hang out just a little bit. Uh, feels a little rougher than the Glock. Seems like it was made a little bit more for a Glock. Uh, not bad. Uh, I did read some comments. People post on the video said they got theirs. It seems kind of cheap. Here's what I don't like about it. Here's your belt loops. They're real flimsy. I could probably tighten these down somewhat. Uh, but the, the material feels really flexible. Um, I'll wear it and give it a try. If anything, it'll be an okay training holster. Um, again, I want to try to tighten these down. Earlier when I put the MP in here, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's something shaking. And it's not the pistol. There's something that, that in here, I don't know if there's play or what but like I said there's something kind of shaking so it's kind of kind of finicky with the m and um, but that's all you get with the pistol box this time so I guess they feel like this plus two stickers is the full value of the box I don't know I don't know how I feel about this holster it's definitely a lot better than the last holster they sent the which was a nylon drop leg uh, I was pretty disappointed about that so now we'll get into the rifle box for the AR-15. Uh, the number one thing is a polymer lower. It's an 80% lower. You can see uh, it's not cut out right there and it's not cut out for the trigger. Uh, there was some false, there were some misconceptions about this. Uh, when I posted last month what they were sending out, they are saying it was gonna be a zombie green. This is black. That's not a big deal to me. I'd probably rather have black. Uh, one of the things though, they said they were gonna send the jigs with it. There's no freaking jigs with it. Now on their little card here, it says that it doesn't, it says it's a EP Armory 80% lower, extremely durable Kevlar reinforced polymer, lifetime warranty, limited lifetime warranty, no jig needed. Made in the USA, corrosion resistant and petroleum chemical resistant. Lightweight design, no coatings to worry about scratching. Uh, 
So they've got this set of stickers right here, and it looks like you place those on spots on this to make your cuts, I guess, to mill it out. Um, but again, I have no idea how to do that. Uh, some of these come with actual plates that you'll put there that you, you drill out your stuff. I do think this would be doable with a handheld drill being it's just polymer. But uh, right now it's just gonna make a good paperweight because I really don't know what to do and I don't know where all these fitting stickers go. And then there's an EP Armory sticker right there, pretty cool sticker. Uh, so I'm gonna get on their website and check it out and see what they say uh, about it, if they have any pointers or anything like that. Uh, one thing it does say, can't remember where it's at. There was somewhere, I could have swore it said you had to be 21 to receive this. Might be in the box, I was reading something. So, with that being said, Hope Operator Box paid attention to that and uh, didn't send it out to anybody under the age of 21. Next, uh, in the rifle box is an AR-15 vice block. It actually goes into your magazine well. Slides right in like a magazine, and then the bottom part you put into a vice. They probably sent this, so you can put this on, put it, put it in your magazine well, put it in a vice, and do your drilling. Uh, the other thing, they sent Sonic Boom. This is what you had to be 21 for, sorry. Not this, but this. Uh, says must be 21 years old to purchase. But uh, anyways, this is a explosive target, kind of like Tannerite, I guess. Uh, that's pretty cool. It says on here, requires 40 grain bullet, traveling 2200 feet per second. Suggested rounds are 223 and larger center fire ammunition. Uh, it gives you instructions on how to use it. It recommends uh, that you do it at a distance of 100 yards minimum. Um, so this is this is pretty cool. Um, the other thing, I think they realized they screwed up with uh, the cheap broomstick handle. And this time, they sent a night strike tactical weapon grip. And it's a it's an angle grip. If you look at it, something comparable to like a a Magpul or or BCM angle grip um, so that's that's pretty cool I'm okay with that I don't know if I like it I won't know till I put it on a gun but uh, pull it out here so you can see it, it mounts on a Picatinny rail there goes the screw mounts on a Picatinny rail just like uh, Magpul stuff does and I'm assuming you would grip it well I don't know that's a tight grip right there. You can put it like that or like that, but uh, there it is. Doesn't really look polymer, it looks plastic. Can't really tell. Let me read here. Fit standard Picatinny rails, polymer slash nylon glass construction. Uh, allows complete control of the weapon and it's made in America. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm okay with that. That that seems all right with me. It's, it looks black in a video, but it's actually gray. That's the only thing. I don't really run, I either run black or flat dark earth on my rifles. Um, so for the rifle, that's it. Uh, this box was definitely a lot better than the other one, uh, but I'm still pretty, pissed off with operator box i went ahead and stopped my subscription uh they've already charged me for next month's box so if it if they do it like they're supposed to i should still receive one more box i have heard people commenting or seeing on the videos that they're canceling and they're getting charged and they're not receiving their boxes so i will definitely let you know how that goes um uh, if i get the boxes i'll do a review on those and i'll kind of see from there how that one is to decide if maybe I do want to keep them around this this package was okay not really sure about the pistol one yet but um, that's it uh, overall I think the rifle one was good other than the fact that they didn't send any kind of instructions on how to do this or at least where to place these little template deals so 
I'm gonna have to figure that out. If I can't figure out how to do this, this is gonna be a paperweight because it is illegal to let anybody else put hands and do on it and do the work. You have to do it yourself. So let me know what you think. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you have any other subscription boxes that you recommend, I might be willing to try those out uh, since I canceled Operator Box. I'll still be getting tack packs. Uh, if you didn't see, I posted a video for October's tack pack. It was a pretty good package so far. I've liked their stuff. Uh, I've looked at some of the Battlefield stuff. I've looked at the 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 uh, Never Enough Tactical, the Self Rep, and uh, they're just like hit or miss. They just don't seem like uh, I would like them a lot. But um, so if you know of anything else, let me know and I'll check them out and I'll do some reviews on them. That's all I got. I'm out.